Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you may or may not know, it's actually been a little while since I last posted a video because I did end up taking a break in July, but I am now back for August and I'm really excited to share this setup with you. As always, I'm gonna be using my bullet journal by Arjun Olive and you can use my code ARDENBUJOS to get 10% off, which also helps to support me and my channel. First, I wanted to do a little flip through of my June setup since I ended up skipping July and the reason for that is that I'm studying game development and it just requires me to do lots of creative thinking and also doing a lot of projects so I didn't really have the headspace or time for bullet journaling but my semester is now over so I can go back to my regular schedule. This month I wanted to do a watermelon theme, which I originally planned for July, but I thought it was just as fitting for August. So I picked out a really vibrant color palette, which is really nice and summery. So I picked out a lighter teal, a darker green, a bright pink, and also a yellow as an accent color. For smaller titles, I wanted to use my Moody gel pen and then the Tombow Funonosuke for the large titles and also for the doodles. And as always, the products are going to be listed in the description. On the first page, I wanted to include a monthly overview, but this time I didn't make it into a work planner like I usually do, just because I'm not really going to be working in August anyway, so I'm just going to take time to relax and enjoy my holidays, and instead I just made the calendar a bit more spaced out to fill out the page a bit better. I used the light teal as a background for the weekdays on the top, so that the writing is a bit more visible in black, and the days are two spaces wide. Underneath I'm adding the dates with the Muji gel pen, leaving one space in between them vertically so that they're not too close together and spaced evenly. I also added a bit of separation and color with the darker green shade and a ruler. Lastly, to fill in that empty space in the calendar, I used all of the shades and drew a little circle, which just adds a bit more color and I really enjoyed the look of it, so maybe I'll use it more often in future setups as well. On the bottom, I'm also adding my YouTube and Instagram growth trackers, but at the moment I'm a bit undecided about Instagram. It doesn't really bring me that much joy anymore, and I took a pretty long break already, but I might start posting again in a more relaxed way now that I have more time. For the cover page, I wanted to keep the layout pretty simple overall, so I just first added the title in the middle of the page with the light teal as a background again, and I wrote the title with the Tama Furunosuke in a sort of relaxed hand lettering style. Underneath I also added the number 08 to 4 August just because I felt like it looked a bit empty otherwise. Then for the doodles I'm placing them on a diagonal axis on the top right and also the bottom left. First I went in with the light teal to create this sort of wavy border which kind of looks like a wave on the beach which I thought was really nice. And then I just started filling the spaces with super simple watermelon doodles, first using the bright pink for little half circles or just some slices which are basically just triangles with rounded edges. Then I used the darker green shade to create this outer layer leaving a bit of space between them for the kind of white part of the rind. For the outlines, I used the Tomo Funonosuke like I mentioned, just because it adds a bit more variation in the thickness of the lines, and it also really completes the shape and makes it look like watermelons. And then lastly, I'm also adding some little seeds, as well as a few sparkles with the yellow to add a bit more warmth, and also to complete the color palette. What I really enjoyed about these doodles is that they're super easy and quick. They are probably some of the quickest doodles I've done so far and they're obviously perfect for summer because they're super fun and colorful and the color palette just makes me think of ice cream which I thought was perfect. To complete the cover page, I also added some more of those accents of the color palette in the empty corners, which also helps to act as a bit of a border and makes the spread look more balanced overall. So that's the first two pages done and let's go ahead and move on to my habit trackers. Again, I decided to keep the layout really simple and a bit more open this time so it's not too crowded. So first I wrote the title on the top right of the page in the same style as on the cover page, so with the teal as a background and then the title itself with the Tomo Furunosuke. I'm adding some watermelon doodles on the top left side only just because I'm going to be adding them to the bottom right of the other page as well, which also helps to frame the whole spread and not make it too busy. Mm -hmm. 
this time I decided to include a bit more white space overall so the six daily habit trackers are in the middle of the page and I left five grid spaces empty on each side as well as two in between the trackers horizontally and one vertically. I started by coloring in the background for the titles which are going to be placed underneath the trackers and then making the borders of the actual trackers with the darker green and these boxes are six spaces tall because I also included the weekdays on the top. Then I used the Muji Gel pen to write the weekdays in black and then to add a bit more color and separation again I used the yellow as an accent color to make a line in between the weekdays and the rest of the tracker. Then I also used the Muji Gel pen to write the titles and this month I'm tracking doing my morning routine, not using any social media in the morning, being up before 9am, working out a little bit, having a little cleanup session and also doing my nighttime routine. On the bottom part, I also added some weekly habits, so I just did four simple titles for my weekly reset, playing piano, making my weekly spreads, and doing some art practice. And then to actually track them, I'm adding five little circles underneath that I can color in once I complete the habit. Lastly, I also added the little color palette accents again on both sides, just to fill out the space a bit more. I kept the other page really simple this time because again I'm not going to be very busy in August and I might just use it as a memory page or something like that so I wanted to keep it pretty empty for now. I wrote the title just August on the top left and then I added the small color palette as a sort of border on the top next to the title and then also the doodles on the bottom right like I mentioned before. To be honest I'm really not sure why I've never done a watermelon theme before but it's definitely one of my favorites now and I'm really happy to get back into journaling. At the beginning of July I was still kind of trying to force myself into making a spread because I wanted to make a video for you guys, but it was definitely better for me in the end to take a break and I'm really grateful for you guys' understanding and support. I also got a comment about the algorithm being a bit mean sometimes, so definitely make sure to like the video and subscribe if you enjoy my content and want to see more of it. Lastly for this page I added the little accents on the bottom as well and also did a simple border with the light teal on both sides. And that is it for these two pages, so let's go ahead and move on to my first weekly spread of August. This video is definitely a little bit shorter than usual because the spreads were a lot more simple, but I had lots of fun creating them, so I hope you like them as well. For this weekly spread, I first made the backgrounds for the weekdays of the daily sections with the light teal, and I varied the position of the sections vertically as you can see, so the first two are placed a bit lower, then the next two are a bit higher again, then lower again, and so on for all of the seven weekdays. In my case, I left nine spaces empty either on the top or the bottom, and then I also left two spaces in between the sections horizontally and vertically, just to have a bit more white space in general like I mentioned because the doodles are quite vibrant and I didn't want to make the spread too busy. For the borders of the sections, I used the darker green again with a ruler just to keep things nice and consistent, and then I wrote the titles and the dates with the Tombow Furunosuke in the same sort of font that I used for the other titles, and I just wrote the first three letters of each weekday. Next for decoration, I added the doodles in the empty spaces first on the top left and bottom right of the left page. As always, I don't really have a lot of commentary to add when it's just drawing, but a little tip is to sketch the shapes out first and trying to switch between the slices and the half circles so that it kind of makes this pattern. I also try to vary the orientation of each one and then also spacing them out pretty evenly so that it's not too full but there are also no weird gaps. If there are any larger gaps, I just filled them in with the sparkles and I also corrected little mistakes with a white gel pen. To fill in that little space that's created by the wavy border, I added another color palette again, which was perfect for filling in these small empty spots. Next in that empty section on the top left of the right page, I'm making a mini calendar just to have a little overview of the whole month. I first used the light teal as a background for the weekdays and then also next to it to write week one, and then I wrote the weekdays as well as the dates in black. Lastly for this section I also added another color palette on the right just because there was one more line that was perfect for it. On the right side I added one more section for weekly goals and I used the light teal first for the background of the title then made the border in the green again but I wrote the title with the Muji gel pen just to kind of have a bit of separation from the daily sections. 
Lastly, I filled the rest of the space underneath it with more doodles on the bottom right to complete the spread. And that is it for the setup. I really hope you enjoyed it and I can't wait to start using it. So let's go ahead and do a little flip through. If you have any ideas or questions, leave me a comment and again, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much again for all of your kindness. I'm really glad to be back and making content again. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you again next time. Bye!